All right, so let's work another similar triangle problem. There's a reason why I'm working quite a few of these, because these are the ones that can be confusing. Um, this one, I remember working this exact same problem in college, and it pulled my hair out, and now I look at it, and I'm like, really? It's not that bad. Um, so I'm not working the whole problem. I'm just working the calculus part of it. All right, this says a swimming pool is 12 meters long, 6 meters wide, 1 meter deep at a shallow end, uh, at the shallow end and three meters deep at the deep end. Water is being pumped into the pool at one fourth cubic meters per minute. And there is one meter of water at the deep end. At what rate is the water level rising? Well, let's just kind of get an idea of what's going on here. So I have a swimming pool with a slanted floor. It looks something like this. It's not drawn to skin. And then we know it's got this extrusion of six, six meters. We know that this total length here is three meters. We know that there's water right in here, and this right here is going to be a meter. We also know that this right here is one meter, and this is 12 meters. Now there's a lot going on in this picture. There's a whole lot going on in this picture. We also know that water is being dumped into the pool at one fourth cubic meter per, um, what is that, minutes. So we know my dv dt is one fourth meters, cubic meters per minute. Okay. So, yeah, let's dive into this problem and actually see how to solve this problem. Okay, so I've added a couple things to our picture and kind of cleaned it up. I know that the total depth here is three. I know I have a depth here, which is going to be one. So I'm going to write over here D equals one. And I actually brought this 12 from the top down to the bottom here, the, this bottom part. Like I'm cutting this rectangle off. And if you notice, I have two right triangles here that share an angle, and that gives us um, two similar triangles because of the angle-angle similarity plot. So I'm going to label the this length, how high the water is as it's going into the pool versus the depth of the water here. I'm going to set up my ratio that we do with similar triangles. I'm going to do 12 over 8 equals, well, I've got 2 over my depth. So my 2 is the depth if it was at 12, if my h was at 12. And so, yeah, there we go. We're going to simplify this. I've got 12D equals 2H. We can reduce this down, and I got 6D equals. So that is one of the expressions we're going to need to use to solve this problem. All right. So what we're looking for is actually the change in my depth based on time. So I need to know because of this cubic, what is the volume of a triangular prism? Well, my volume of a triangular prism is big B H. This H, I like to think of it as an extrusion. It is not this H. It's the six meters right here. So I can rewrite this as volume equals six big B. So I like doing that before I start putting other letters in there, in there simply because I might end up with two H's that mean two different things. All right, so now that I have a volume, I'm already building my formula. So I have my volume equals six big B. Well, big B of a triangle, well, the area of a triangle, this is gonna give me my big B equals six times one half times my depth times my height. Well, I can clean this up and I get my volume equals three DH. Okay, well, I'm looking for DD, so I need to get rid of H, but I know H equals 6D. All right, well, that's a basic substitution. I get volume equals 3 times D times 6D. Clean this up, I get volume equals 18D squared. All right. Now I'm smoking because I know when I take a derivative, I got a DV DT and I get a DD DT when I take my derivative. And I have a DV and I have a D, so I should be okay. Let's take the derivative of both sides. I've got dv dt equals 36d 
E D C log. That's what I'm looking for. So let's substitute in. I know that this is one fourth equals 36 times one. Remember in AP calculus, you gotta show the action of plugging this in. E D C T. When I plug everything in, I got D D D T equals one over four times 36 which gives me one over 144. Um, let's, this is going to be um, meters per minute once you work out all the units. So that's how fast it's changing when this depth is one meter. It is changing at one over 144, one 144 meters per minute. Not a terribly bad problem now that I actually understand how to work it. Um, but boy, in college, this one kicked my butt. I just remember because I didn't see it as a similar triangle. I was doing all types of crazy things. Hi, I'm Mr. Buzzer, and these videos are supplemental instruction for my students. If you found the video enjoyable, make sure you click the like button and click subscribe, as well as the bell for notifications to receive future videos on high school mathematics. <laughs>